There was a point in the trial in which Clarence Darrow asked scientists to explain the theory of evolution. But the judge in the Scopes Monkey trial was John Ralston, and he believed, I have been called on by God to be the judge in this case. So I don't care what all these scientists have to say. They can't give testimony. So Clarence Darrow decided, OK, all of my witnesses, they can't give testimony. So I'll ask someone who's an expert on the Bible to give testimony. Hey, what is your name, Brian? I know you're on the other side of this case, but why don't you go on the witness stand and I'll question you about the Bible. Now, William Stuning Bryan was so excited about this. He was like, oh my God, I'm gonna destroy you as a witness. I will go on the witness stand. Now, the judge didn't want him to do this. The judge was present, prejudicial. When Clarence Darrow puts William Jennings Bryan on the Bible, he asks, do you believe all the stories of the Bible literally? And the first answer of William Jennings Bryan is yes. The Bible is literal, I believe in it literally. And then asking him specific questions, where did Cain's wife come from? He made Adam and Eve, and then all of a sudden there are other people and Cain finds a wife. Where did, where did Cain's wife come from? William Jennings Bryan gets flustered and says, well, I, I leave that up to you agnostics to find out. That's all Clarence Darrow needed. So you're not interpreting the Bible literally. Clarence Darrow goes on to destroy William Jennings Bryan on facts. Are you still spinning or how do you feel? Well, I'm, I'm dizzy. Mm -hmm. I feel weird. I feel like I think I know where I'm going, and then I get utterly confused about where I thought I was going. Ah, oh, nope. Gonna get Facebook responses for this. This was the complete destruction of William Jennings Bryan, and William Jennings Bryan looks like a fool. But William Jennings Bryan knows I have the most amazing closing argument to make. 